Hello, uh, and today I'm going to um, share on uh, how to create attendance using Microsoft Form uh, Office 365 uh, versions. So I'm going to use this uh, Office 365 version because of uh, our school is using this uh, um, this uh, I already subscribed to Office 365 so it's easier uh, to integrate with all of our emails and uh, and the all of, of the office uh, uh, software so first of all uh, from your browser you need to go to this ad email address for https uh, forms dot office dot com and using your office 365 id and password uh, which the one you use to sign into your um, email accounts or your uh, words or PowerPoint uh, software. Uh, so you need to log in using uh, those ID and also password. So after you had uh, go to the uh, forms.office.com uh, website, and you have already logged into your uh, using your ID and also password, you will prompt into this uh, kind of uh, interface so you become this is the the main um, the main how you say the main uh, page of the forms office forms okay and then uh, if you can see on the left hand side you can see a uh, uh, two button number one is a new form the second one is the new quiz so you need to, to select new form so you just click on that uh, icon and you next you'll be prompt into this uh, page so uh, under this page you can see there's a, a, a part uh, that say untitled form so this is where you need to put in your uh, the title of your forms so for these purposes I put my, the title of my form is attendance and maybe you can describe a little bit on your form so and this is just for attendance for lecture one so after you have finished entering your uh, the title of your forms attendance forms and some description then you can you need to click um, add new so this is you need you add a new item to your forms so after you click that it will come up with a few types of uh, um, choice that you can 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 use either you, you want it to do as a multiple choice questions or text rating or dates and uh, and anything else but for these purposes it just selects text so after you click text it will prompt up like this one so this is the first questions of the um, of forms so I'm going to put name here so we need to collect the name of our uh, students or, or our um, particip participant to our lecture so you just put name here and you need to, to if you want to force or need to force the student to uh, enter these um, uh, items you, you just click you turn on the required button and for me, I usually put a long answer because sometimes uh, uh, people have a very long name, so it's just easier to put long answer so that they can put in your their full names. And and after that, uh, you click add new to add new items. So the next item that uh, I'm going to put here is the matrix number. So this, of course, uh, for students, we need to collect their name and also the metric number so that we know that it is authentic that these students um, attend or fill in the forms so again just click on required and also make it into a long answer and after that you have complete complete uh, uh, created create your uh, form so uh, after that uh, this form uh, is auto save it means uh, as you as you um, fill in the the blanks of the, the items that you wanted to, to 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 collect it will automatically save so you don't have you don't have to save it uh, and 
you don't have to save you don't have to click any save buttons because it is online and this is uh, um, auto save and then after that you can click share here to share your forms so there's a, a few methods of sharing but the most important thing is to make sure that anyone with the link can respond to your uh, can can respond to your uh, forms or meaning anyone with the link can fill in these forms so you, you you need to select this one first so you click the arrow here and then it will be there will be a drop down menu here you just click anyone with the link can respond so uh, so anyone with the link can respond can fill in the forms next um, there's a few uh, way that you can share your forms number one you can uh, if you click here this this uh, icon you can uh, there will be a link uh, uh, a link to your uh, forms so they you can copy you can click copy here and paste it to your whatsapp uh, any messenger um, uh, software or you can share it uh, uh, via emails or the other method you can click this icon and it will turn out to create you a QR code so this QR code you need to download it uh, <coughs> to use it <coughs> so after you download it it will download as a JPEG or PNG files and you can save it and um, and paste it on your presentations or your poster and all sort of thing you can do with it so people just can scan this QR code and it will redirect them to the form to your form and then they can fill your form from there so this uh, after you had uh, had finished with your uh, forms uh, creating your form you can view it you just click preview at the upper um, upper you can see uh, a preview button at the upper top top of the uh, of the width of the page and then it will show you on how your form will look like so this is how your form looks like this so you can see this is the title this is some explanation of the form this is the particular that you need the name and the next is the metric number so after you share a uh, student can fill a form like this uh, this is how uh, it will looks like and then how to print out or how to collect this attendance list is uh, from the form uh, from the your, your form you can uh, click uh, if you can see at the tab there are two tab here number one is question where you edit your questions what or particulars that you are need that you need and number two the tab is uh, label as response so if you you click the tab label response it will you will come into this type of page so what you have to do is you need to click open in excel so when you click open in excel uh, it will download files uh, an excel file of all the respond that uh, the, the the participant or the student had already filled so this excel will look like this one so you can see uh, the time the start time where when the the, the student fill in uh, and this is the completion time is when the the student already uh, complete uh, entering the data and because of because you made the 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 questionnaire or the the form uh, being available to anyone to uh, with the link to, to fill it so it will be the email will remain anonymous the name also will be anonymous but this one you see the second name too is what you put in your um, the form you remember back the number one uh, question that you put is the name so you can see all the name the list of the name of the uh, student that fill in the form and this is the matrix their matrix number so you can see so you just copy this part and um, just paste it and make it a, a more nice a nicer tables and you can submit the attendance uh, to your uh, to your bosses or to your um, 
supervisor as an evidence that the student had already already complete your the attendant the, the lecture so by that thank you uh, if any question you can reach me uh, to through facebook or ig and also twitter goodbye